Hi! Up till that moment, if the user clicks his name here on any page, he will be redirected to the Manage Account page, which gives him the only the ability to change his password. So, we want the user, when he clicks here instead, to have this kind of control panel through which he can edit his profile or change his password. So, let's go ahead and start. So the first thing I will do here is to create a user control to be used as a user menu here. So in order to do that, I will go to the account folder, right click and add a new waveform user control. So let's give it a name of uh, user menu and it will be given the extension ASCX. Now let's copy the markup for the menu. It will be just an unordered list which contains two items. Uh, each item is a list item and has a hyperlink located inside it. Okay, all the classes used here on this menu is a bootstrap classes, but I will override some classes here in order to give me this brown color for the active selected menu and give me this background and give me the background color for the inactive menu. So let's go here and copy those styles. Again those styles will override the bootstrap classes here. Okay, so now we have done with the user menu and I will pin it here. Now it's time to create the update profile page by right clicking here and add a new item waveform with master page and type here update profile ok click on add ok let's also pin it here and let's secure this page in order for the authenticated user only to have the authority to open this page so I will copy this code snippet here and paste it twice by the way and Let's type update profile and let's type here manage password because this will be the second page the user will enter so manage password. So both pages are not allowed for the unauthenticated users. Okay, let's close this one and save it. Now in order for the update profile page to have this menu, I will go here inside the content and drag the user menu here. Okay, and I will open also the manage password. And I'm gonna put another copy of the user menu here. Now let's see the user menu. So the user menu here is referring to both the update profile page and the manage password page. Okay, I think it's time to test our page now. I will rebuild my solution then I will go to my browser here and click on hello Samir okay by default if you click here you will be redirected to the manage page so let's update the URL to be redirected to the update profile page by going to the site master page and let this hyperlink refer to update profile okay let's save all Let's refresh our page. Now let's click on Hello Samir. Okay, we have here two menu items. However, when you become inside any page of those two pages, the menu never gives you an indication which page you are inside at the moment. And also, the update profile page has no elements to display. So let's go back to Visual Studio and let's go to the update profile page and then drag another user control here which is the user profile and this uh, user profile has to be wrapped inside a div element which has a class form horizontal and the intellisense here is absent because we haven't make a reference for the bootstrap 
As I told you before, it's not important to put the reference for the bootstrap here, as the bootstrap is installed over the entire application. However, in order to get uh, the proper intelligence, you have to import it. So, I will go to the content and add a copy of the bootstrap here, in order to have the intelligence. Now, before we continue with the update profile page, I want to focus on making the user's menu giving us the indication which page we are currently inside. In order to do that, if we right click here on any item, and if we just go to its list item here, and assign a class called active, that's what will happen. Okay. So in order to add this class programmatically on page loading, I will have to do the following. So let's go to the user menu and press F7 here. And in order to be organized, we will pin it and put it close to the user menu to CX. So what I will do here is I will add a new property to that control current page. So I will make a new property called current page. And, and by going to the update profile page and press the F7, I will type on the page load here that user menu the control user menu dot which property the, pro the property we have just added which is current page will be equal to what will be equal to update profile okay and let's go also to the manage password and press the F7 and on page load I will type here user menu dot current page will be equal to manage password okay but this will not be enough so let's go back to the user menu and on the page load here I will type if the property current page is not nothing then what will happen please take into consideration that each LI here has an ID, so this ID of the first LI have the same name as a page update profile, and the second LI has an ID with the same name of the manage password page. So let's go here and let's type dem LI, which we refer to the last item as HTML generic control equals C type of my tab my tab is here this is the ID of the unordered list so the unordered list has my tab and of course it should run inside the server in order to be invoked in the code behind page and let's type here my tab dot find control which control the control with the name current page okay and cast it as HTML generic control because don't forget when you open the update profile page the current page will be equal to update profile so when it go to the user menu it will search for an LI has an ID of update profile and find it and once it find it it will give it the class so I will type here LI dot attributes dot add an attribute called class this class will have the value of active okay now let's rebuild our project and let's test out what is the result okay very nice however let's uh, continue designing the edit profile page so I will go back here and I will go to the update profile dot ASPX and I will continue designing the form by adding the save button and the confirmation panel so let's go to notepad and copy those lines here and paste them here okay so a new form group dev will be added which has a button and a confirmation panel now let's go to the code behind page in order to handle the load and the save events so on the page load I will type if not is post back then 
user profile dot user ID will be equals to user dot identity dot get user ID but get user ID is not available because we have to import something called uh, ASP.NET identity so if you click here there will be no problem now I will type here user profile dot read okay so when the page loads it will read all the profiles data and put it on inside the proper controls now let's go to the save button and click here on the click action and then type the following dim so user id as string equal user dot identity dot id get user id then set the user profile dot user id equals user id and user profile dot save changes then i will display the confirmation panel panel confirm update dot visible should be equal to true let's rebuild our project let's refresh our page so the function loads properly now let's see whether the function saves the data properly as well or not okay however we are missing here the font awesome check mark which should be located before the saved successfully text and the reason behind that is that we haven't imported the font awesome plugin inside this page so let's save all refresh our page okay now let's make this form displays in a more appropriate way the same as we did with the edit user page so remember that in the edit user page we have already defined those two classes and since we are about to define them again inside the update profile page to maintain a consistent design over all pages it would be a better idea to place them inside a style sheet then refer to that style sheet inside both the edit user and the update profile pages so let's go here and add a new style sheet and I will call it style and I will paste those two styles here and save them then drag this style into the edit user page first okay and drag it also inside the update profile now I want to wrap the form inside a dev element which has a class of card and I will close the card dev here like this now let's save all and let's refresh our page looks good however let's figure out what is the reason behind this huge space before and after the update your profile text by inspecting this element and for the h3 I think the margin is very big so the margin is 20 pixels from the top and 10 pixels from the bottom I will set the margin for all the direction to 5 pixels this will properly solve the problem and I want a little space between the the panel here and the menu so I will add a break element so let's first here go to the h3 and type style equals margin 5 pixels and then I will add under the user menu a break element so let's save all let's refresh our page okay looks good thanks for watching if you like the video please press like